Hi, everyone. We've talked to you guys about a lot of hard things in the past few videos. We share some advice, um, but today we'd like to do something a little bit different and share some of our happy moments with our loved ones so that, you know, we're able to show you all the good that we experienced having them in our lives. Um, my name is Janice and I lost my husband, Philip, on January 2nd, 2020. My name is Kim and I lost my fabulous wife, Anne, on April 1st of 2020. My name is Amy. I lost my husband, Peter, also on April 1st, 2020. And my name is Kelly and I lost my husband, Chad, August 19, 2019. So this is a picture of Phil on our wedding day. Uh, we were married June 29th, 2019. And I have so many pictures of Phil that I absolutely love, but I wanted to share this one with you guys because I just love the look of pure joy on his face when he realized what I had given him as a, uh, a gift to open before our wedding ceremony. I actually got him um, custom made socks with our cat BB's face on them and little hearts. And um, even there, though I wasn't there when he opened them, I can just feel the delight um, he had in this picture. And it just warms my heart. I loved it from as soon as I saw it. The second picture here is just uh, our little family, um, me and Phil and our cat, Bibi, and just had a lovely little life together. And I really miss it. So this is a picture of my wife, Anne, with my niece, um, my brother's daughter. And these two just connected immediately. Um, Anne was not used to connecting with children. And for some reason, she and my niece just connected very much. And so you see here, they had matching rainbow unicorn costumes that they wore for both Easter um, and for Halloween. Uh, this is a picture when Anne and I went to Iceland last year. And this particular moment, I perceive as, I knew Anne for four years, and I perceive this exact moment, the happiest I've ever seen her. You know, lots of times people assume that if somebody ends their life by suicide, that they're gloomy all the time. And I don't mean to imply that it was the only time that she was happy. But what I like about this picture is just that it was the, the moment I saw the most joy in her face. This was early in our relationship, and Anne and I had uh, rented a yurt. Uh, we had decided to go to Alaska, and she had this really elaborate plan. Um, and I used to live in Alaska, so I told her, well, we could do all those things, take a plane and a boat and all those things, or we could just drive 20 minutes outside of Anchorage. <laughs> so we stayed in a yurt, and this is a picture of her with an ax, but it's a very dull ax. And so she's just like working the wood to try to cut it. And at the very end, she gets like this little sliver, right? And we celebrate, yay. But she's talking about the ax and she says, you don't need to worry, Kim, because this dull ax, I can't hurt you. And for some reason, and maybe the lesbians of the audience will be able to appreciate this. I feel like this is a moment that pushed me toward falling in love with Anne. And I proposed to her, I believe about three weeks after that. This was... 2008, I think, and we were really big on throwing themed costume parties, and we had uh, lots of guitar hero parties because that was the big game to play at that point in time, and we'd invite all of our friends over, and Chad was a good sport. He would wear <laughs> what I would come up with from the thrift stores and throwing together, um, you know, kind of crazy costumes, but that is from one of our guitar hero rock star parties. And then the, the second picture, um, this was 10 years later, this is 2018. And we were on our way to the Oregon coast for camping. And Chad noticed that um, the lights on our pop-up camper weren't working. And he was a low voltage electrician. And so we stopped in a parking lot and he took out his tool bag and uh, he knew how to fix everything. He could fix anything around the house, anything with the cars, plumbing, electrical. I was checking him out the whole time that he was working on this car because I love my man in a t-shirt and jeans and he had glasses on too. And I was like, yes, please. And he fixed it. And we got to the coast with the lights on safely and 
He's my hot handyman. This is my Peter and my son. Um, I picked this picture because I think, like Janet, and, and I think Kim both mentioned, like, I just think this picture exemplifies joy and love. And I think, you know, one of the things that people have said to us after we lost Peter was that they just wish he had known how much they loved him. And I always say, like, he did know, like, this wasn't about him not being able to access love. Like, he was the most beautiful, loving person. And so I love this picture. And then these pictures are from Halloween. And when I met Peter, he said he hated dressing up <laughs> and that he wouldn't dress up for costumes or for Halloween. And I love Halloween. It's my most favorite holiday. And so when our son was born, there was just this like beautiful, miraculous transformation where he was so excited about family costumes. And so that's why I picked these pictures. I really, really love seeing your pictures and hearing your stories. I think we need to do it more in general, just to remember all of the good stuff too, because it gets so heavy. Yeah. I know that there are some worse things, but man, it's heavy to be a suicide widow. Janice, I love pictures of you smiling. I just, the joy is so right there. <laughs> We like to do the most like ridiculous big smiles we could for any pictures, Phil and I. So <laughs> be like <laughs> <laughs> that picture of you two and the cat is like the most beautiful picture. Oh, thank you. Aw, you guys. All of your joyful stories really like got to my iron heart. <laughs>